right. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my goodness, it's so weird for me to be staring at a lens right now. I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at. Hmm. But I'm pretty happy with how the background is. Hey guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. May peace, mercy, and God's blessings be upon you. Growing up, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. But somewhere along the line, I felt that this does not feel aligned to me. And I gave up this passion of mine. So when... I believe it was the first week of December hit and everyone were talking about goal setting and stuff like that. I decided that I'm not going to get sucked into this world, but I'm going to do a little practice of my own. So what I did was I wrote down the vision that I wanted to live at the end of 2022. And I recorded myself based off of what I wrote. I will put down the correct wordings of the prompt here. I wrote down my response and I recorded it on my mobile phone and sometimes when I'm feeling bored or when I'm cooking, I re-listen to it to decondition my mind from thinking of this vision as something that is far-fetched and to basically allow my soul to soak in the reality that I desire to create. So in the world of personal development, we call it repetition, auto-suggestion. So we want the vision that we want to create become like a no-brainer, almost like an of course. Sometimes we have these things that we desire in our life, good things, noble things even. But somehow along the line, we get paralyzed because we think that it's a far-fetched idea. We start self-sabotaging, questioning ourselves. So when I was listening to the audio, I did not even realize it. So in the vision, I am in an airport and I'm journaling and I'm writing down that, oh my God, I can't believe you made it, Shamima. And I am talking about me recording myself there. And in my vision, I'm actually recording myself, recording my travel and it's only then it hit me like, oh my god, am I a vlogger? <laughs> it's so weird. I never had the vision of being a vlogger terminology-wise in my quote-unquote goal list. But when I wrote down the picture that I had of me doing the things that I like to do, being in places where I like to be, I saw myself vlogging and I'm like, Oh my God, that was a revelation for me, crazy enough. And I realized, hmm, interesting. Then that means that I have to start getting comfortable talking to myself on the camera, comfortable and confident in the public to shoot the vision that I want to shoot so I can share with my community. And that brings me to the second reason why I wanted to create a YouTube channel. Whenever I am in a pivotal moment in my life where I'm looking for guides and mentors actively and I want to listen to the life stories of people who have been in the place where I'm at. So just to look for motivation, for inspiration, basically tips and tricks and golden nuggets and wisdoms that they can share with me. I always found it a struggle to find people who I could relate to, people who look like me, people who have same values like me, women of color, women who are dedicated in their devotion to God. And although I did find people who look like me, who are Muslim, who are women of color, sometimes, I don't know if it's unfortunate, but I found most of them in necessarily the fashion industry. And not to say anything negative about it here, that's not the vibe I want to create on my channel, but I was looking for women who look like me, who talk deep stuff like about spirituality, about personal development, about God, on this deep soulful stuff. And moving into 2022, I decided this is a problem 
and I feel commissioned by God, if I can say that, to fill this gap. And this is what I'm hoping to create. And the third intention that I have for this channel is that I want it to be a place that helps me bloom, helps me break free from some of the shackles that I want to break free from. For an example, I am a recovering people pleaser and a recovering perfectionist. And although I always had the desire, like I mentioned before, to create a YouTube channel, I could not do that because in my eye of the perfectionist and people pleaser, it was never good enough. It was not worthy enough, but over the course of the last few years, I've done a lot of inner work. I've gotten guided by amazing, powerful women, and I feel I'm in a safe space internally, first and foremost, to accept myself and be okay with not being perfect and to even grow to a place where I can hold the duality of what may come from me putting myself out there. Am I thinking of getting negative comments, being bullied, not by strangers, but by people in my own family? Yes, of course. But I've decided that I'm going to go with it. Anyway, it's not going to stop me. You know, people may call me a potato head, um, whatever, but it doesn't matter. The vibe that I want to bring is that it's okay. It is what it is. And the fourth intention that I have for this channel ties down to another exercise that I did when I was planning my life for 2022, inshallah, God willing, is that I asked myself, what are three feelings that I wanted to embody in my life? So for me, those feelings were ease, bougie, and high vibe. These are the things that I want to create. And once you have these feelings that you want to create, you have to be unapologetic about it. And it may be a bit tricky if you are still a healing people pleaser because you find it harder to just own yourself. Personally, for me, I am someone who puts God first. But I come from a culture that has this cookie cutter mentality that for a woman to say that she is devoted to God and she places God first then she has to look a certain way her personality should be a certain way she should not be loud she just cannot be crazy and alhamdulillah all praise and thanks be to God I feel that I've healed from that because sometimes I am this really calm kind of person and sometimes I'm that yo girl what's up <laughs> that kind of person and I have realized that for me to truly become the person who God wants me to be I have to surrender to the mystery of what is to come because when I'm not surrendering to the flow that God is putting me through that I'm acting from my head and I'm trying to control and everything is chaotic and what happens is that I get stagnant I don't take action which is counterproductive so that is another statement that I am taking along with me in this journey that is surrendering to the mystery trusting that whatever vibe that I'm feeling, whatever personality that I want to bring forth at a given moment is exactly what was meant to come forth. Not more of thinking how I should look or how I should sound, but more like going with whatever is being inspired in my heart and just trusting that it gets to be enough. So that's it from me for the first video. I'm not going to overthink it. Like I said, this is going to be a testimony of me healing and showing up despite the imposter syndrome, despite the little whispers from the perfectionist and people pleaser. But then I make a conscious decision that it's the most powerful version of me that gets to be present to the world. Because this is the story that I want to tell to God when I meet him on the Day of Judgment of how I took action despite fear. So that's it from me for this week. So the commitment that 
I am committing myself to is one video per week for the next 12 months. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what unfolds and I'm even more happy to build a community of women like me who share my own values, women who are committed to God, women of color. <sighs> Let's go on a journey. Let it begin. All right. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to end this video, but see you next week. Take care.